Paul, if you and I are outliers and we get turned into uh, <laughs> we, we get turned into a terrorist hit squad, and I get a little Rico app that says, "Hey, you know, for fifty bucks, you just shoot Paul." I'm gonna be like, you know what? Paul's my buddy. No Rico app. There you go. And I'll yes. be like, oh, a coupon to bet five. <laughs> Hey, Internet! It's Paul. It's Matt, the Dork Lords. We are here talking about Westworld, Season 3, Episode 7. My cat is going to help us out. Oh, uh, yeah, that it is. A, I, I don't know what this title means. You'll have to explain it to me. <laughs> right, my cat is going to help us out. That's, uh, you, know, you remember that line? Dolores says that later. Ah, uh, yes, yes, right. Uh, I, I forgot that. Uh... <laughs> the actual title is Past Pawn, uh, oh. which is not about cats. Um, but I will explain the title here in a second. Uh, basically, just opening and closing. We open with Musashi, Dolores, getting attacked by Maeve's uh, seconds uh, in Jakarta. We end with Caleb looking over Dolores's body, and we hear like an off-screen AI say, uh, Hello, Caleb. I have some instructions for you. Boom. And so that's your... That's your window of opportunity here for the episode. Um, before I jump into anything, uh, your thoughts, Paul? Um, I liked this episode slightly better than the last episode. All right, all right. Partly because... Um, By the Paul uh, scale, we're like... Okay. There's, <laughs> there's another season to make sense of all this. Good point. Um, They've uh, declared there is a season four, and that I heard some rumor that maybe they were considering like a six-season arc or something, but... For now, it's there is a season four. We know that. Oh, they began the work of trying to make uh, more sense out of what's in it for Caleb, I guess. They've been teasing all this stuff, so they're starting to make it a little more. Um, but, you know, they still have more work to do for, for me to be truly satisfied. Uh, they might I, not be able to do enough to make me truly satisfied. I hear you. They did some work, certainly, with Caleb's motivations. I still feel like Maeve's motivations are... Oh, yeah. No. At best. Nope. I'm like, what are you nope. doing? Why are you... And they did anyway. this really weird... Um, uh, I have one demeanor when I uh, am in the uh, Matrix and I uh, will kill your, uh, your kid. And then I have another demeanor when we're fighting... And, you know, or about to fight. And, you know, you're saying that I'm wondering why you're helping this guy who only wants to kill the person that I threatened. What? <laughs> I felt like a lot of what we saw with Maeve and Dolores, and obviously in the trailer for next week, it seems like they just pick up fighting again with swords. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I feel like it's like, it looks cool. So yeah. just, it's like, hey, it's like anime. You know, it's like, yeah. oh, we'll yeah. wear the black and we'll have katanas. And we're super powered, and we'll fight. Sure. Like, okay, yeah, all right, good, good. But mm. um, all right, anyway, um, past pawn. Uh, it's a chess term. Uh, I grew up uh, playing chess, basically losing to my dad. That's wow. how I learned chess. I played like for years. He just would beat me uh, until one and day. And then you play chess. And then I played chess. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that became a really sad story. Um, <laughs> He would beat me at chess. How about that? <laughs> ah. um, and then one day I, I, I beat him and I was like deliriously happy and I ran around the house like, ah! I was really classy How about old it. Uh, um, I would guess like uh, 12, 13, okay. something like that. Okay. Somewhere in there. Uh, but it was like he'd won like 100 times and then right. I won once. So that made us even. We're uh, nice, <laughs> perfect. I got it. Yep. Um, anyway, so um, a pass that pawn stroke really helped out. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, <laughs> yay! Who cares? I won! I won! Uh, um, so, uh, pass pawn. Uh, it's usually a kind of an end game style thing, which seems fitting considering the season is coming to an end. Uh, it means like if you can get your pawn to the end of the board. Uh, you can turn it into... You can upgrade it. You can upgrade yeah. it to a queen. Right. Uh, and the thing that's keeping you from getting to the end of the board, one of the things, is the enemy's pawns. So when you get past them, 
you have passed their pawns, you are a passed pawn, and now you don't have a free and clear shot to the end, but no pawn is going to stop you from getting to the end and upgrading. So in this case, obviously, the Caleb would be your passed pawn. Ah. He was a pawn being used by Dolores, and now she has upgraded him to, to this leader to be a queen. And when he goes into drag <laughs> at the end, then we'll be like, oh, okay, I get it. It's like a Priscilla, queen of the desert. Um, no, so... Yeah, so he's, queen. <laughs> exactly. He's been upgraded, and um, yeah, so that's uh, the reference there. Let's start with just with the opening, because it it's a cool little set piece in a way. Uh, we're in Jakarta. We knew that there was one of the uh, Dolores Pearls was, was communicating from Jakarta, so it made sense it was Musashi. It's Musashi. In a club, I'll say this, he mentioned something about, oh, there's chaos outside, but there's no chaos in the club. The club apparently is doing right. the insight material. They must have all gotten good reports. Yeah. Oh, oh, cool. I will be a waiter at a cool club in Jakarta. Awesome. <laughs> Charlotte, Charloris, gives a call to Musashi. So this is basically two Dolores is talking to each other. Sure. Um, we see that she's still partially burnt, but not as burnt as she was at the end of the last episode. So yeah, maybe she's healing well. Some skin grafting or something. Anyway, she's like, you know what? Um, I just leaked your location to someone who wants to do you in. Basically, she leaked the information to probably Maeve. Yeah, I would say. And then Maeve sent her helpers, who we correctly predicted were Clementine and uh, the Shogun World uh, Armistice. Hanario, I believe is her name. Musashi does give a case to some one of his minions and is like, get mm. this out or something like that. We don't know mm. if there was like something important that was going theoretically to the Dolores Prime. But um, he uh, gets killed and uh, our two, Clementine and uh, Hanario uh, leave with his head. Yes. Uh, which is pretty important there because they've got the pearl for Dolores and they're bringing it back to Maeve or Sirac, one of the two. Uh, of course, Maeve is currently deactivated on the floor somewhere. But what do we think about Charlotte there? So, Charlotte, we, we theorized, is this going to be some some weird... She's going to switch sides? And why would she switch sides? Just another motivation issue, maybe, mm -hmm. similar to Maeve. Like, okay, seems apparent that Sirac blew up her car, killed her fake husband, and... Yes. Yes. Okay. So, you would think... Just on the surface, she'd be angry at Sirak. I have more you reason than ever you to hate Sirak, but she instead no, has no, taken no. that. You know, oh, Dolores's plan was that we would die. He, she tells Musashi. Yeah. So she's taking it as it's. She's blaming Dolores, Dolores Prime for that. Um. What do you? What are we? Do we? Do we see that she's now on Team Maeve? Is that? Is that what we see here? Our Team Sirac? Well, I don't know. I mean, it might be one of those uh, the enemy of, me, of my enemy is my friend things. Okay, because she does say, um, like, I have my own plan. Like, okay. Yeah, she does, doesn't she? Um, yeah, who knows? I'm mean, sorry. <laughs> I don't think we have enough evidence at this point. Um, it does feel abrupt, and um, it's still in that awkward phase where it's like, uh, what's going on? Why is this stuff happening? Well, let's so, think of it this way. So... We, we get the idea. Let's say Charlotte is is working for herself. Uh, let's say, as you mentioned, oh, an you enemy of my actually enemy. Actually try to speculate? Yeah, well, not speculate necessarily, but just, just kind of see where the pieces are. Okay. If, she's, if she's working for herself, she's got, of course, in her head, she, is, she, she knows Dolores because she is Dolores. Um, but she's also got the Connell's Pearl. So she has one of the... She has a Pearl from a Dolores. Yes. And then Team... Sirac slash Maeve now has a Dolores Pearl that was in Musashi's head. Mm -hmm. um, I just wonder how that... Those seem to be important somehow. I don't know what that means. Do they? Is there a, some simulation where they recreate Dolores's? I don't know. Anyway, it's just interesting that each... Everybody's got a Dolores. Uh, sure. And, it's, you know, and I don't know what that means. But it well, seems like... Well, the thing that I was thinking... I don't know. But the thing that I was thinking of uh, was that Maeve took all that information from uh, the company, from Delos, before uh, Sirac was able to take over. And so, uh, is that information gone? Oh, oh you know? we're talking uh, Charlotte, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm curious about that uh, as well. That, that information is not gone. I think, I think... Dolores was like, oh, all our people are dead. Um, so... 
Yeah, if she no, was, I if get, Charlotte was, confused, actually, because that information, it's either encrypted, uh, heaven. What is it called again? Uh, the sublime. Right, the sublime. So is that the sublime that's doing that? Who knows? Seems like yeah. So, there's two sources of information that Serac wanted. One was the sublime, and then one was host data. I think those are two right. different things. The implication was that at least some portion of that was in Bernard's head, uh, perhaps, because he's apparently incredibly important to Dolores' plan. Um, but we don't know Oh, that. I guess the key could... might be there. Yeah, the key. Correct. The key to that. We know the information couldn't be there. Because, um, right. yeah, there's the, all that information on all the uh, visitors to the park, I guess. Yeah, okay, um, right, right. But, uh, or the ability to get into the uh, sublime is maybe what the key helps them with. Um, and presumably from there she can download all that information back into the hosts, I guess. Right, um, I think that's true. Now, we do know Sirach built a lot of Rehoboam and Solomon based on data from Delos. Sure. And so William gave him the data uh, and, uh, you know, now feels somewhat guilty about that. Basically, you know, when we see that William's like, I have a purpose now, I realize my, my original sin was that uh, I let you got you robots exist, so I'm going to go and uh, try to How kill... How can I let you robots exist? Kill all robots! Uh, now, this was a little confusing to me. We know that, yes, uh, Dolores tracked William through the little protein they put in his neck, and like, oh, yeah. look, and they, they try. So... He's being re-educated in a facility in Sonora, Mexico. Yep. And we have a, we see a shot of Dolores and Caleb on horseback, little Westworld Easter egg kind of thing, uh, riding in Sonora, Mexico. But they're not going to where William is. No. They're going to this this facility where Solomon is being kept, which is yes. also in Sonora, Mexico, but it's not the same place. That's what confused me. I was like, oh, oh I, see. I get it. It's at the same. Pl no, oh no, wait, it's down the street. I don't know where. It, I don't know where it is in connection to William, but same place, different New facilities. Yeah, that's true. Well, I think it's Mexico, Mexico, not New Mexico. Oh, actual Mexico. Oh. Yeah. Well, um, that's even bigger. That's even bigger. It's slightly smaller than New Mexico. Um, <laughs> so anyway, that was just that was confusing to me because the whole time I thought, oh, they're about to meet up because. As William leaves the facility, she's going to show... Oh, well, but no, okay. That was not yeah, a thing. Yeah, no, I didn't think that, because it just it's too neat, even though we only have a few episodes, so maybe that's why you were thinking it. But, yep, I did. that's exactly um, why I was thinking it. I felt it. like uh, they're not moving that fast. Um, well, let's go ahead and we'll do the William subplot, because that was the smallest one, probably, mm. uh, of the group. So, uh, you know, William, Sorry. Bernard, and Stubbs. William finds out that Stubbs was a host, it seems, is... is it was interesting that he's uh, he didn't know. I mean, yes. it's just that he suspects everyone, including his daughter, of being a host. Yes, but, yes. Like, oh, Stubbs, what? Oh, crap. Um, and he calls him a tin can. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Um, and then he does say, you better kill me now. Yes. Because I will kill you when I get the chance. Yep. And Bernard's like, I think he might be useful later. Let's leave him alive. <laughs> and, then, and at the end of this episode. I certainly hope he actually is useful later. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Um, you know, because... Do we kill I'll him? Say, no, but I've got this really good excuse that sounds like it's legitimate for us not to kill him. I'll say this. In that moment, how confident is William that they won't just kill him in that moment? Is he... Is he have a death wish in that? Because, let's face it, it's two robots. He probably knows Bernard probably won't kill him, but he doesn't know much about Stubbs. What if he's just like, you better kill me now? Okay. <laughs> Like, he was taking a chance, in my opinion, of going, you might as well kill me now, robots. All right. Say, okay, we will do that. Well, um, certainly it's just his uh, suicidal aspect is nothing new. Yeah, that's a good point. So, you know, He's always I mean, making... I don't... I mean, you, you end up uh, placing a lot more value on these situations than I do. Um, you know, I feel like he was really confident that they wouldn't... Do it okay. because they're already acting like they wouldn't do it. I mean, they could have been like, "Well, we'll see you later," and they yep, weren't. They so weren't. They weren't. Clearly, they were. He was sort of like, you know, like, "What are you planning on doing? I mean, if you're gonna kill me, just do it." Um. um so you know, he has the gun on them at the end of this episode. He's not gonna kill him I, in, in that moment. That's that's just not a thing. 
I don't. I mean, first he, of all, I'm not even sure that he they could. They won't die. Yeah, I mean, he could shoot them. he tries to kill them, I don't know. That's a good point. Uh, but I don't think he will. I think something will interrupt them. In fact, okay. I don't, I'm not sure what that would be, but maybe it's yeah, ma- maybe maybe Clementine has uh, gotten from Jakarta over to Mexico, <laughs> shows up. I don't know. That's kind of just what that is, right? They break him out. Yeah. They're still a team, although he's like, I'm now going to kill all robots. Right. But maybe he's like, I'm going to start with Dolores and we'll work our way out from that's, there. Yeah, well, that's his, um, he's calling that his uh, original sin, which, you right. know, um, that's not the root of his problem. So. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. right. That's right. I have a purpose now. Don't no follow up questions. I'll just stick <laughs> with this one. This is this will make me a good guy. I'm the good guy. Um uh, so so anyway, so that's happening. Um obviously the majority of this episode is spent with flashbacks of Caleb. We learned Caleb's backstory. Yes. Most of which I think we kinda knew. If we didn't know for a hundred percent, we kinda guessed, for instance, we guessed that he killed Francis. Uh, we I guessed. I don't think I'd guess that. Oh, okay. All right. I threw that out a couple episodes ago, where I was like, I oh, think, yeah. I think it's, I, I think he killed that, Francis. I let um, that, uh, you know, fly with your other sea of guesses. <laughs> okay, good point. <laughs> then the thousand guesses, one of them worked out. Also, kind of thought that that he had this post-military life that where he was, you know. In the city, he wasn't he wasn't a soldier anymore. He was some kind right. of right. Well, you know, they whenever they showed that uh, scene where his buddy died, they weren't in. You yep, know, they were not TVs. in gear. Yeah, yeah. So there was we knew there was something odd there. Anyway, so you could argue that none of it was true, but I think I think the most likely scenario is Rehoboam identified him as an outlier and sent him out to get killed. You know, as uh, a couple episodes ago. Serac says, oh yeah, Robo- Hoban would identify outliers and then put them into frontline situations hoping they die on their own. So I think that's what happened to him. He gets put out, oh, you're in a dangerous situation. In this case, he's in the Crimean uh, and he's he's marking uh, potential bad guys and then they have a satellite that, that kills them from space. <laughs> like, oh, so mark, mark, boom. And his team, he sees, gets marked as well. And so he's, some of his friends get killed. He gets grievously injured. His head wounds, which we've heard about in the other episodes where he's like, oh, I've been shot in the head. Um, so he gets these wounds. He comes back. He's got PTSD. The, obviously, I guess the attempt to kill him didn't work. And so now they're going to try the therapy on him. Uh, and the therapy basically works to a point that he ends up being uh, someone who goes and kills other outliers using the right. Rico app. The Rico app, like, hey, he my buddy Francis, who I guess was another outlier, um, going to go and uh, we, we take out other outliers on behalf of Rehoboam. In the middle of that, they get to a point where uh, they hear too much from uh, Keith, Keith Mars, Mars from Galaxy Quest. Um who as a guy who was like I guess a, a pharmaceutical giant, oh yeah, tycoon who was making the little tab, the limbic tabs. He knows. He said, "I haven't asked you too many questions. You guys are here. That makes sense. But now that you're hearing me, you guys are in trouble." Um, and so Rehoboam through uh, the app, Rico app, tries to pit the two of them against each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so Caleb ends up shooting Francis in self-defense. And then I guess he gets that memory wiped. I guess that that's the point where... I was they recondition con- him, yeah, to get yeah. that wiped. Yeah, and so they change it around to, hey, you were you were attacking more of these Russian terrorists and doing good, and, you know, Francis got killed by him, and it wasn't you about it. So uh, anyway, so that's that's kind of his backstory. So he comes out of it. Now that he sees the truth, Dolores is obviously very intent on him learning this information. So yeah. he knows that now, and I think that is like he has a grudge against Rehoboam and Serac right. because it's like you created a situation where I ended up killing my best friend. I think is the idea. Yeah, is that that's Makes what sense. I got. Out of it. Um, I I disagreed a little bit with. We hear something after we see that. He had to kill Francis. It was something like, "Yeah, you know, we everybody's got their price," 
And I guess that's true for Francis. Seems like Francis was about to get, like, how much did they pay you? Enough. Um, but I don't know that, uh, I'm not sure what amount of money would have been required for Caleb to just in cold blood shoot his buddy Francis. I don't, I don't well, know what, I mean, that would have happened. certainly knowing that uh, his buddy was going to kill him. Right, no, in the circumstance, I see that he had he had ample justification for kill or be killed. I'm just saying there was like this notion thrown out that, hey, it doesn't matter what kind of friend you are. If you throw enough money at him, your buddy will kill you. Like, Paul, if you and I are outliers and we get turned into a, <laughs> we get turned into a terrorist hit squad and I get a little Rico app that says, hey, you know, for 50 bucks, you just shoot Paul – I'm going to be like, you know what? Paul's my buddy. No, Rico app. There you go. And I'll yes. be like, oh, a coupon to Best Buy. <laughs> uh, and Paul survived. Uh, okay. Um, so anyway, I'm just like, I, don't, I feel like he was a guy that wouldn't have killed Francis really no matter what the price. I think he would have thought that's, that's too high a price to pay killing my buddy to fill my bank account. But anyway, I, mean, I don't know what why you're making that distinction. To me, then it only suggests that uh, Rehoboam is stupid, and that they didn't make the. Yeah, I feel like the the reasoning is flawed. That I mean, perhaps any, actually, what it knew is like, oh, see, uh, if it knows uh, Caleb, I can't offer him money because he won't do it. Yeah. But I can offer it to the other guy because I know that his. You know, bro, brother or son or whatever it is is messed yeah, up, yeah, so yeah. he'll take it, and then. You know, maybe that's part of the thing. I know if uh, Caleb will want to hear what this guy will say, and then he'll find out that, you know, oh, that he wants to kill him. So he'll have to kill him just to stay alive. Win-win. All right. All right. All right. So be it. Now, here's the thing that I thought was a little like, eh. This augmenting, augmented reality treatment only works on one out of ten. And the other 90% of the people Mm -hmm. that it tries to, it just sticks in cold storage. Mm. And we see this, oh, they're in cold storage. Weird. So I'm like, what? I mean, yeah. first of all, the success rate is so small. Mm. It's kind of like a why bother? You know, like, <laughs> uh, oh, it only works on one out of ten. Huh? Do we, should we even do it? Eh, right. just kill right. him. Well, I think it would just be like, just kill him. I don't know. Why do they even defense, have him alive? In their defense, maybe, you know, uh, maybe it's not static, that, that 10%. So it's like, wow, we discovered over five years that we can increase that to a greater number. And ultimately, we, after studying it, we can maybe get up to 60%. Maybe we can get up to 80%. It's like, you know, more data, you know. I got you. The program is still new. We got to, like, get yeah. that curve going. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. And, that's, and that's, maybe that's why they're keeping all those other people. So that when, oh, we know no more now. Oh. Out of storage. You know what? You just gave, you just gave me the, uh, that's it. Very good. I was just thinking, like, they're just keeping them on storage so that eventually they'll get brought back and take down the system? Like, why are they still around? If you're like, these people will take down the system. Let's keep them around, and then one day they'll take down the system. Great! Oh, great! (laughs) So, okay, I like your plan, which is, hey, at some point we'll get better at this, and when we do, then we'll uh, we'll augment the crap out of all these people. Um, As a practical matter, that's not going to happen. So, I feel like these people that are on ice are going to play in some part in this ending thing. I don't... Maybe. You know. Seems like Dolores' plan, you know, she's obviously... Well, we see uh, Bernard says at the end, you know, Dolores isn't going to destroy humanity. She's too, too poetic for that. What she's going to do is have Caleb is her plan. Caleb is going to take down humanity uh, on behalf of Dolores. Yeah, So. I mean- so what do we see there? So we, do, I mean, at the her, moment, we're not her, seeing uh, chronic poetic uh, nature. Ah, yes. Uh, she doesn't appear to be out and out villain at the moment, no. right? I, so is that a twist? Are we going to see that in this last episode where she's like, ah, ha, 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 "You fell into my trap, idiot human," and then Caleb has to realize, "Oh, I was being used," and then have to, you know, is that is that what we're seeing? Is that is what, that is what's your, coming? what probability do you think that is? I think it's a pretty good probability, actually. Really? I think if I had to guess how this will work out, most likely, let me run my Rehoboam giant kickball with a brain 
<laughs> okay, great. Here, I just came up with the stats. I know it now. Um, I think Caleb goes through with this play because he's now gotten permission from Solomon. They're on a new plan. Right. Uh, you know, and so he's going to do his part in that, and it's mm-hmm. going to take down Rehoboam. Okay. And so it's like, aha, humanity's freed. Then he's going to realize somehow that, oops, it was all Dolores' plan to base a, to kill all humans, and I was a dupe to kind of you know lead into that. So then he's going to have to post destroying Rehoboam, take out Dolores, and probably get the help of William to do that. Why does Dolores want to take out Caleb? Well, she, I mean, she's using Caleb for whatever I reason. But you're saying at some point she's going to be like, ooh, yuck, yoink, not now. Well, yeah, um, either, I think maybe he finds it out. Somehow he finds out, oh. Right, but I mean, what's her, what's her motivation to get rid of him after uh, her plan's been accomplished? Uh, she may not, I mean, she might be like, I can keep him around, you know. As my my Judas steer or whatever, you know, as she put it before. Um, so she it may not be like I have to kill Caleb. Maybe, but maybe it's just like the rest of humanity. Ninety nine point nine percent of humanity, I wish to kill. You can stay around, uh, and you know, he decides I must now lead humanity in their fight against the robots. That's kind of well, the way I see right. this what going. You're, I think trying to suggest. I mean, may, I don't know. You haven't elucidated it. I mean, because obviously this part of the plan is. Uh, having a revolution which involves humans since there aren't very many of the right. uh, since. So, right. you know, um, perhaps part of her, I mean, that shouldn't be the end of her plan, right? Because uh, uh, I guess after that you should have some sort of deal, I guess, to have more sense made because that's obviously what she really cares about. Right. Um, so She's got the data know, now. I think they certainly should have a whole season to flesh that out as opposed to one episode really is all it is i just i think it's likely that we're going to see that she's been playing caleb for a fool that's all like because right now she seems honest she seems like look we're just doing what we can and i feel like we might be seeing that she's going to be like yeah you were a sucker and i used you that's kind of where i think it's going but um but i mean you know i can't think of uh i mean that'd be a change for a character she hasn't really done that before. Okay. So, All right. Well, maybe. Um, yeah. Maybe I, terribly, it's not a hundred percent. Terribly um, cruel. Yeah. They need to establish, I guess, that she doesn't really care because he's human, I guess, or something. Um, she has a big uh, showdown with Maeve. I mean, it was a cool. She gets her arm blown off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a cool fight. Her which is interesting that they have used. apparently like a rematch next week. I'm like, well, didn't we just see mm-hmm. this fight? But. All right. Um, interesting also that Maeve, you know, is like, I'm using a katana. Mm. Uh, seemed like she could use just about anything. But um, mm. all right. Anyway, hand to hand. They go at it. Uh, they both take damage. At the end, uh, Dolores uses the very strategically placed EMP device. Yeah. They, they mentioned earlier it's the Chekhov's EMP device. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this <laughs> EMP device. Oh, there you go. You can use it to take out uh, electronics. Interesting. Oh, okay. oh great. Um, so it takes out um, Solomon. Yes. Uh, Rehoboam's predecessor. And it takes out Dolores and Maeve uh, at the same time. So they both collapse. But we see them in the next episode. So I, I feel like it doesn't take them out permanently. I mean, it'll be interesting. No, they scrambled their brain. And I mean, now they're I completely mean, different. They, they have amnesia. A bit of a point that's saying that uh, this could be her end which you know it's like okay I will make special uh, calculations um, uh, Solomon said if you die so yeah yeah right like, I'll change them if you die um, uh, yeah I don't I don't think she's I mean she's not dying in that moment no, no. Um, easy enough to have them just come back online we're fine now you know, there's the, the ho- they activate the hologram of Serac, who's talking to his brother, thinking his brother would be the one that was right spooling up the machine. His conversation there suggests he's no longer around, but I'm not buying it. I mean, I, earlier in the season, I was buying into the idea that maybe Serac was just a hologram, was a a hologram yeah. created by Rehoboam. Yeah. I, I we've I seen too many you things. Were crazy. Yes, and I was. <laughs> Uh, I think because we've seen. First of all, we saw Serac shoot a guy. 
Right. Uh, we've seen Serac on a plane reacting to the hologram Serac. It mm-hmm. would be like, it would be kind of dickish of the show to be like, ah, ha, ha, we fooled you by making things that are obviously can't be done by a hologram, but we we retconned it so it could. Um, so I'm guessing Serac is real. Mm-hmm. This was just a hologram he left because uh, you know he, would, he knew he wasn't going to be there in person and. And uh, he wanted to say something to his brother in that moment. Oh, here was something that somebody uh, online caught. And it's, it's odd. Uh, when we see the little profiles for both Caleb and William, yeah. they, both, they both have like 20, 25-digit ID numbers. Yes. They're exactly the same. Oh. Caleb and, and which, William? William. I, I don't know what that means. We're like, what? Uh, wow. You know, it's not like, oh, I was just number three. No, no, no. It's like bah, 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 M375D5. Oh, wow. And, and so it's just, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Um, I, I, they haven't done cloning yet. You know, but it's one of those, right. um, wow, let's not cast the same guy to be young in yeah. two different time frames. I mean, is it possible that it's just like, it was like a lazy editor that was like, ah, oh, we'll just use the same mask and we'll just do it. <laughs> like, oops! No one will, I'm sure no one will frame grab this frame and then look at the... <laughs> yes, uh, that seems uh, uncharacteristically sloppy. It does seem uncharacteristically sloppy. So I don't know what that means. But right. there is, it was, it's there. It's certainly yes. there that they have the same ID. So what, whatever that means. Still not pleased with Maeve's motivations. No. You know, oh. I mean, I get it. She's a little angrier now because yeah. they just killed off Hector. Yes. But it still just doesn't... I'm, no. I'm, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying why she's trying to kill Dolores at all costs. Yeah, no. yeah, so, sorry. anyway. Uh, that's, that seems to be the the weak link in this season is like getting people's motivations right or robots' motivations right uh, is, is a little flighty. But... Again, they have another episode to end this, and heck, they they might just polish this right off and be like, "You're awesome, woo, 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 cool." We will be back talking about the finale. Uh, I'm excited to see how this turns out. I mean, for better or worse, I, I am excited to see how I'm they curious. figure this out. Yeah, so we'll be I back. Can't claim excitement. Okay, very good. I, curious is is acceptable. Um, so we'll be back talking about that. And uh, thanks so much, everybody. Uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye.